on his heart when pity pity pat somewhere in sunny France. He met a girl by chance with the naughty naughty glance. She looked just like a kitty kitty cat. She loved to dance and play. So he learned no French when he left the trench. He knew well enough to say off with some good skincare and then you want to take your favorite foundation which gives you the best coverage and finish for your skin type. I'm using my favorite Lancome Tanidel foundation which I like to dot over my face and then blend out with a flat top foundation brush for a smooth seamless coverage. Why can't we polyboo like other sweethearts do? I want a kiss or two from our share. If you need any extra brightening or concealing around blemishes or dark marks, take some concealer. I'm using this coconut water infused one and dot and blend out over any extra areas. Now for your eyebrows. Eyebrows are very personal and it takes time to find a shape that suits you. So play around but make sure that they look natural and that they complement your face. I'm creating an arched brow shape. Of course, set your brows in place with a clear brow gel or as I'm using here, a clear mascara. Now you have to set your lovely smooth base for long wear. I'm using a pressed powder called One Heck of a Blot and I'm first using the powder puff that comes with the contact compact to pat over any areas and then sweeping a fine layer of powder over the rest of my face with a large soft powder brush. Then take a warm medium brown eyeshadow and apply all over your lid and along the inner crease to add shadowing and depth to the eye. Take a little bit of a peach coral shade and blend into the outer eye socket for a pop of warmth and then take that first brown and blend along the lower lash line to tie the eye look together. Then a warm golden toned highlighter is being placed on the brow bone. This will bring the brow forward and make the eyes appear more deep set and along the inner corner to add a charming brightening sparkle to the eye. Using a warm peach blush, apply on the cheekbone and outer part of the face to create warmth and shadow. Then using a brighter pink blusher, apply to the apples of the cheeks for a pop and a flush. And then you may use that same highlighter on the cheekbones. For a true 40s look, apply generous amounts of mascara to the upper lashes only. A light coat on the lower lashes can also give you a more widened eye look. Then take a warm berry red lipstick and carefully use the bullet to outline and fill in a lip shape that you feel suits your face best. You can also use a lip brush if you require a bit more precision. To help with the longevity of your lipstick, blot once on a tissue and then go back in and apply a second coat of lipstick, allowing it to dry before you go in and blot one more time. For the hairstyle, I'm beginning with a full overnight roller wet set. I'm first taking off the scarf and the hairnet that I use to keep the rollers in place whilst I sleep. Then carefully remove each roller. Ensure not to pull the roller from your hair, but instead carefully unwind it, as pulling will only create unnecessary frizz. Kiss me fair, well my 
It's very important to use a setting lotion along with water for your wet set as this will give a stiff, smooth and shiny set that will last many more days than if you simply used water, especially if your hair is harder to curl. Now you can go through and brush out all of those curls. I use a denser plastic brush like my Tangle Teaser first to remove excess product from the hair and to simply brush out the stiffness of those rolled curls. Then you can begin to shape your style more. Going in with a smaller round brush to wind under the curls will give you a more polished and page boy inspired look. It can take quite a lot of time to brush the hair into the desired shape so don't panic. The pomade or cream always helps so smooth a small amount through your hair a small amount to make sure it doesn't look greasy and then brush through again to help the pomade style your hair. The use of this styling product will help the hair to form into the shape and position that you wish it to stay in. Now use a very generous amount of hairspray to lock in the curl and use duckbill clips to create lines and waves where you want them. This will seal in the style especially if you leave it in for a few minutes to dry. Once dry and stiff to the touch, carefully remove the clips to reveal your finished beautiful 40s hairstyle. This method of brushing out will also work with a hot barreled curling technique or pin curls, whichever is your preference. If you need to pin down any waves to get them to stay in shape, feel free to do so. A perfect autumn look, this beautiful red dress has an incredibly flattering silhouette including a high button-up neck and a keyhole to accentuate the figure. Seamed stockings are a must for any lady, especially as the weather gets colder to protect your legs from the seasonal chill. The slightly puffed shoulders also create a contrast to the slim and nipped in waist shape, creating a beautiful silhouette to the body. For every day, a simple low kitten heel with a T-strap is most appropriate and will go with almost any outfit. Then once you have your trench coat and your bag containing all of your essentials, you are ready for your day.